friends. Oh, this morning, I tell you what, I am so overwhelmed. Look at how beautiful these animals are and all the shade they have and what a good time they're having. Look, they're going even down into that thick forest and getting them some early, early worms. Look at them. They're just running to get there. <laughs> they're drinking out of the mud hole that they created. And look how clean the water is. Look at that. I did that last last thing yesterday. It doesn't take those ducks long to get in there in the morning, though, especially Hazel. Hazel's in there fishing for whatever's on the bottom. I think it's a rock. She puts rocks in there, and then she fishes them out. She's the funniest. No, that's not Hazel. That's her son, Mr. Angel Wing. You can't eat that big old rock. You just can't. Look at them. Oh, they sure do love coming out and getting their water. Well, today is going to be the last day of really, really high heat. The next, the next day or two. Well, actually next week. It's going to be so nice. It's going to be unseasonably cool. It's, it's been unseasonably hot. And my sister and I were talking about it. And now it's going to be unseasonably cool which I can take that. Um, it, it was so hot I couldn't even hardly go outside. I don't know how these kids did it. I just don't. But look around. Look how This is all four of my babies right here. Ducks. My Muscovies. There's old Mo. And look at them. They're just everywhere. Look at them. All the way around me. <laughs> I tell you what. They sure love to eat. They love to eat. So, looky here, here's Petey, my sister, <clears throat> who I talk about a lot. Her, let's see, great-grandson is um, my great-great-nephew. And I'm sorry, Malachi, but I can't remember if you're eight or nine. I think that's what she said. And she said he loves my turkey. And he loves my chickens. He's my new subscriber, guys. He found me on, on YouTube. And he is going to start watching me. Well, my animals, not me. And I am so excited. It just makes me so happy to know that people in my family are, are watching. Especially because they live, they live in Missouri. They live in this uh, area away from here in the country. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that face. And this is old Rue. I don't know how old he is anymore. He's He had his day, boy, I tell you. He was beautiful back then. He sure was. And now I'm just proud he's alive. And the bunnies are, are doing their thing. Boy, I tell you what, they are enjoying. Look at them. They're, they're cleaning up themselves from all the heat that we've had. Look at that. I've got to get out here and do some cleaning myself. All of these are doing well. Look at them. They're just... Enjoying life. I fed them good last night. And they've already had all their breakfast and, and uh, plenty of water and plenty of food. And look at here. This is my oldest boy. He's he's the daddy of everybody. His name is Poppy. I sure do love my bunnies, but they sure do need to have um, a clean house. And it looks like the girls are already laying. And are you just barking at everybody? You're not doing anything. We already got one egg. And let's see, one girl, two girls, three girls, and this is Hazel, and she's sitting there on her eggs. She wants to be a mama so bad. I put some Brahma babies under her. And here's another girl sitting. So that's one, two, three, four girls sitting on a, on a, they're all actually uh, laying. They're going to lay eggs. And uh, one in time out. She thinks that she has to poop in the, in the nest box at night. And so, uh, because she wants to sit so bad. So I make her stay by herself. I put some eggs in there. And you can, it looks like she might have even broken them. Yeah, it looks like she's broken them. Probably eating them, I don't know. She's got plenty of food and water. 
I just changed out that water yesterday, so she should be good. Poor old Jesus, he doesn't, he, that's his forever home. He's not in time out. He just has to stay there forever until I figure out something else for him. Until I get something built, anyway. Because uh, he kills chickens, trying to mate with them. Hi, baby girl, aren't you so beautiful? You like standing up there on top of Magnolia, don't ya? You like Magnolia's house. She wants to go up there. They, I had a black one up there trying to break through and, and get in there and, and lay eggs, but I'm not going to let that start because they get fighting and all kinds of stuff. They've got plenty of places. Here's where they roost at night. I've still got one of them up there. I think everybody else has come down. Yeah, everybody else is down and she's still up there. I'm sure this this last bags of feed I got are really small pellets, and they are just making a mess out of them. They rake them out to see if they can find the little bits of corn, and I just won't even give them any more until after they um, clean up the floor, and then I'll give them some more. Well, I think the baby turkeys are really popcorn. I think you're popcorn. Either that or are you really you're just like my Roy, my little my youngest son when he was little he would try to touch everything as high as he could because he wanted to be big he wanted to be tall and so he would run through the house and jump as high as he could to see if he could touch the ceiling and finally he could touch the ceiling like that and then he could touch the the um, the top of the doorway he could touch that with his with his palm and then he could touch the ceiling just standing there and now he's six foot five <laughs> I told him I said I don't think you'd be this tall if you hadn't just kept on trying to to reach the sky <laughs> I tell you what you can't lose him in a crowd that's for sure but yeah it's uh it's going to be a great day on the farm I'm just real excited and uh We'll uh, see you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and see you soon.